Hey everyone, we're back again to expose uh, what my cyber stalking, identity stealing, fraudulent piece of fucking scum of the earth, uh, Todd Dandruff Whitless, and uh, that is the owner of the Pussies Frauds of America form. And uh, let's uh, dive right into exactly what this is and uh, recap uh, for those that don't know. It's a thread that started about Christopher Mitchell last April, well over a year and a half ago, by Jeff Dimes, who since left the forum after Michael Morgenstern threatened him in posts. And uh, as soon as he, Mike, uh, Dan Druff, teamed up with Mike Morgenstern. Uh, number two, about the 10 same posters, seven of, whom, seven of whom live there all day. They flirt with each other, tickle each other's nutsacks while analyzing every Christopher Mitchell videos, and they talk about it with each other, you know, flirting again, uh, but they've done nothing. They're all talking there and no action. They've never once reported them to YouTube, the FBI IC3, FTC, IRS, Nevada Attorney General, or casinos like I have to try to stop another scumbag scammer who's duping people from all over the world. In fact, they were, they've been discouraged from doing so so many times from their cyber-stalking, identity-stealing, fraudulent piece-of-fucking-shit leader, Dan Druff, because they're sheep. Three members in that form have yet spawned new YouTube channels recently that's copied every single one of mine, T for T, the same content, same way, everything. Again, they don't, they're not more about stopping Christopher Mitchell. They're just attention seekers to, to fill the void of their lonely lives. The latest one would be this Utah drone, Utah phony. He's copying to the T exactly how I do my videos. All right. And again, they're not about stopping Christopher Mitchell. They're just trying to get attention using them. Number five, they're cyber stalking. Fraudulent leader, Dan Druff, piece of fucking shit, has been trying to get my channel, listen to this everyone, has been trying to get my channel terminated for months. Instead of trying to get Christopher Mitchell's, he's done nothing to try to do anything for Christopher Mitchell's. It's all about mine. And why is he doing this? Because I stood up to the motherfucker, I called him out months ago, found out what he was doing, teamed up with Michael Morgenstern and telling everybody, oh, he never had contact with Michael Morgenstern. Morgenstern, all kinds of lies, okay? So again, he's trying to silence my channel. He's not anything about fucking trying to stop scammers. All his form is about is power control. Try to get people's identities, try to find out what's going on, who's talking about them. That's who he goes after. He doesn't go after real scammers. He goes after the people that's talking... Uh, truth about them, all right? And here's why. Because we knew this a long time ago and he lied about it. He lied that he had contact with Michael Morgenstern, all right? He's claiming, oh, I never said that bull fucking shit. And then right here, we've already gone over this. The PDF containing all my illegal information that was obtained by his private eye who didn't, who since denied ever being hired by Michael Morgenstern, which was a lie. And it was very useful to Todd. Why was it very useful? Hmm. What's so? What about my information? All my private, sensitive information that he obtained illegally, because that is identity theft by the law. Already documented. We already been told it was. And why was it useful for him? Hmm. So he could try to pass it on to double joke pot channels, and uh, retard sharks. All these people to harass me. Try to get people to harass me, okay? And then right here, as soon as he found out my strike was over, he thought he got two strikes on me. Wrong. Didn't get two strikes on me, dipshit. But look, right here, as you can see, I texted my Bay Area attorney. He's actually hired an attorney to try to get my videos about him taken down or my channel taken down. My channel that's trying to stop scammers. My, tamer, my channel that stops scammers. My channel that's helped people from all over the world. My channel that's helped people save hundreds of thousands of dollars from not being uh, duped, all right? And that's what he's been trying to do. He's not once tried to do anything to 
try to get Christopher Mitchell down. And we're going to take him down. And we're going to keep going over this. And one of his sheep goes by Positive Variance. It's funny, he actually go, puts his nickname Positive Variance. Like he knows what the fuck Positive Variance is. This little shit has never one step fucking uh, a foot in a casino his entire life. He just lives all day on uh, Dan's Druff's nut sacks and his thread. All right. But he wants him to finish me, finish me. Good luck with doing that, guys. So, again, Dan Druff, the guy who claims he goes after scammers, whose uh, form is called Poker Fraud Alert. All right. So, again, he tries to go after fraud people. Wrong. Has not only tried to hinder and discredit all my efforts, and we'll, we pointed them out and we'll continue to, but worse, as we showed, he's, he's teamed up with Michael Morgenstern to steal my identity and harass my family and I, and he thinks there's not going to be any consequences going uh, forward in the future about this. Couldn't be furthest from the truth. He's not done anything to try to stop the well-known scammer, Christopher Mitchell. He's only tried to stop me, okay? So again, here's... We already pointed this out in a previous video, but here again, let watch. He's mocking me. He's mocking me for trying to get Christopher Mitchell's channel taken down. Says I failed. He's mocking me for trying to get uh, Christopher Mitchell's videos down. He's mocked me for getting Christopher Mitchell busted by wire fraud. He's mocked me for trying to get Christopher Mitchell busted on tax evasion. Oopsie, I know a little secret that you guys don't know. Oopsie, to be determined. Did I get? Did I fail about getting Christopher Mitchell for tax evasion? How about you ask Christopher Mitchell? How about somebody reaches out to Christopher Mitchell and says, Christopher Mitchell, has IRS been in contact with you lately? See what he says. Well, we all know he won't tell the truth, but like I said, to be determined. To get champers taken away by Chris Child Protective Services. Yeah, that's a fail. That was so wrong of me to do when they are dragging this kid around from casino to casino Drinking alcohol numerous times while she was breastfeeding and the kid was in her lap. And again, again, everything he's mocking me for all my efforts. Organized people to sue Christopher Mitchell. Yeah, all the people that have contacted me that were victims. Yeah, and I tried to point them in the right direction uh, for lawsuits to try to get their money back. Yeah, that's such a bad thing to do. Get Christopher Mitchell removed from at Bed Online. So again... And again, again, get see him banned from Vegas casinos. He's mocking me for all my efforts and trying to stop a scammer. When all he's trying to do is trying to silence me from telling the truth about him. All right. So again, a good like taken from a, a great line from Wall Street too. I'll stop telling the truth about you if you stop telling lies about me. So again, right here, guy claims to be a professional poker player. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go over his resume in this. 20 years of playing in the series with an average of less than $5,000 a year in cashes. That's not even including the amount of money he bought in. Claims to be claim to fame is winning a bracelet back in 2005 for, with only 406 entries. And anybody that knows about poker, anything that knows remote, that's shit. 406 people is nothing. All right. Only three caches in the main event his entire career. And the majority of his buy-ins were fronted by suckers who actually believed it was a, he was a good investment and he was actually good. I guess they're uh, reaping their losses uh, as well. He can and on his only cash and mainly the small buy-in lower level entry. Okay. Again, he wants to claim he's a professional. Let me, let me explain how uh, poker is. Anybody can claim to be a professional. It isn't like a uh, professional baseball or football or, or basketball where you go through the steps of high school, uh, college, and then you get drafted or whatever. That's professional. Anybody can claim to be a professional in poker, okay? So, again, that's, what, that's his uh, claim to fame. He said his se same seven sheep in his fraud form Believing for the longest time he's taken me to court with a lawsuit. All right, he's had him. Yeah, yeah, go, go get him, Dad. Oh, let's take him to court. He knows he's not fucking taking me to court. He thinks he wants these people. It was a back down effort, and I fucking stood up. I called his bluff. 
yet again. In fact, I welcome it. In fact, I, he claims he's got so much proof that I've threatened so many people online that he only posts the same thing over and over the same Vegas ground e Vegas grind email who doesn't show all the other parts of the email that I fucking he this motherfucker kept bothering me then during the Jason sample all these death threats and all this other shit that I was going through Vegas grind because I he pissed him off and wouldn't review his content he decides to post all my information so Jason Jason sample could possibly see it and uh uh, carry out these death threats. So again, there is I gave, I gave him the ultimate consequence on that. Number three, claims I'm on the verge of going to jail. <laughs> again, he's got all these sheep believing in him. Oh, 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 it's, oh. And again, it's it's the most pathetic backdown attempts I've ever had in my entire life. All right. I guess he should have done his homework on his new buddy, Michael Morgenstern, that I don't back down from any fucking buddy. Anyone. Especially ones who's harassing my family. And thinks there's not going to be any consequence. Oh hell no. Not even close. So everything that I, that's going on. Is being documented. Every day. So all my subs, viewers. Will know everything as it's, un, as it's being unfolds. I absolutely look forward to my day in court, especially as a countersuit, or I especially look forward to initiating the identity theft, cyber harassment lawsuit myself. Stay tuned on that. To all my viewers, this is a very important, okay? All my viewers who's uh, supported me all the way, I'm supporting you on this. Don't ever, don't ever let somebody cyber bully you, cyber harass you from their fucking hell they live in in their home okay ever all right or even try to ruin your life anyone all right you stand up to those that are cyber bullying you you stand up to, to those who cyber uh, harassing you and you punch them back in the mouth okay that's all i'm going to say about that you stand up to them you don't let anybody especially some fucking noodle arm piece of fucking shit who's done this for decades continue to do it hell no that day's over with all right and number two, last but not least, all new videos can uh, be viewed on my uh, buddy's channel uh, in case there's a, another, I get this strike or whatever, which I doubt that's going to happen. But again, the link will be in the description, description below. Check for my comments if something like that happens. But again, if uh, videos aren't posted two, three, four days in advance or being premieres uh, being posted, or delayed or whatever, uh, check out that video, check out that channel as well, okay? With that said, this message goes out to Mr. Dan Druff himself. Everyone, on that note, have a great, great Happy New Year, a safe one, and I look forward to an even better 2022 uh, with you all. And again, this message is for Mr. Dan Druff. You tell them I'm coming, and hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me!